gonna push the button to close the door, but I have no Oh, you can't do that. that. Oh. Guys, this is awesome. You like your new car? Hello, everyone. Good morning. Ooh, shaking it up, Mindy. Still the Are same you message? saying it a little bit differently? Like you might be shaking things up today in your life. You guys, our a life has been shaken up a lot the last six months. That's not stopping today. If you missed the last 24 hours themselves have been quite a whirlwind. Go back before you proceed forward and watch yesterday's vlog. As we went kind of impromptu, new car shopping, checked out all of the full size SUVs, anything big enough for our family plus baggage. <laughs> My mom calls it a limo. It's full gotta size. fit a lot of people, bags, she's got a lot of baggage, just have to bring a lot. <laughs> Ultimately, we have made a decision. We did not expect to be buying on this fast, by the way. First of all, we figured it'd be months before we could even get our hands on one. I think it makes this whole thing feel a little crazy. This is random. Our trees have leaves out there. Yeah, we've got a lot of have foliage going Sorry. on in the backyard. I have been waiting for that. It's finally happened. They're also putting lines on the sport court right now. They but resurfaced, you guys, okay. repainted it, and they're putting the lines on right now. We're okay. getting sidetracked. I apologize. That's my fault. Because <laughs> they're looking but, out um, this window. There's a lot going on. We've been doing the minivan thing for how many years, Mom? Ten, I think 11 years. Because I actually pulled up the video when we got the first minivan. No, we had Brexton, so it's and been Brexton's 10 years. And Brexton's a big old brick baby sitting on the hood. <laughs> it is absolutely adorable. So that was when we entered the minivan phase of life. Been loving it, crushing it. The kids have gone in and out of those sliding doors 10,000 times. And they work fantastic. It works phenomenally. We actually, for a time, took a motocross dirt bike to the race in that thing. Back of the car. It was a multi-function, multi-purpose. It's taken us to the airport for many a trip. It's been on road trips. It has been a phenomenal family car. But as Ryler has now become my size, requires Super a little size. bit more room in the back of the car for the people sitting back there. What you do next is you naturally spread out into an SUV. There are plenty of them, almost as many as there are minivans around here in Utah with a lot of the big families. And so we're just at that phase. It's time to go change in the minivan for a bigger full-size SUV that everyone can fit in and everyone can grow in. So like I said, when we started this vlog, if you have not seen yesterday's video, go back and see the many that we have looked at. We have been choosing from in between things that we like and dislike and know that we are on our way today to go pick up our choice. We won't tell you yet yes, which one we chose when we were going with. It kind of snuck up on us. We were not prepared for we, what we are choosing. We're not planning on getting this one or this fast. But there's a lot of fun in store today. We're going to be picking up the new car. I'm going to go surprise the kids, pick them up from school in it, the brand new car. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And we will give you a full inside out tour of this new ride, the new whip, so and explain to you why we chose the one we did, what we love about it. You're maybe on the fence trying to make a decision for yourself, but we are feeling really good about it this morning. We did our little thing at the end of the day where we said we got to go home, sleep on it. We slept on it. We thought about it. Feel I actually slept great. Amazing about it. Reached out to them to let them know we are coming back right now to pick it up. They're gonna have it detailed and ready to roll out. I can't believe it. getting a couple of shots as we say goodbye to this minivan. So we are actually trading this in today. So mom cleaned it out entirely last night. We're gonna drop it off, set the kids off in it for the very last time. Took their last ride in the minivan last on the school. They did not realize that when they get in the car today, they'll not be using an automatic sliding okay, door. But seeing Ryler yesterday, he had tons of room. He got in here last night. This thing is tiny. His knees. His knees are in the We're back. We're touching and he's the crushing seats. his siblings behind he's him. He's like, I'm good. <laughs> Look at Ryler's legs. <laughs> <laughs> Ryler, this oh, thing is tiny. It's time. It's time. But it was kind of fun watching him go off in the minivan knowing I'll never be in a minivan again, Mindy. Is That's that a weird thought? You know what I've been kind of realizing lately? Like, we're like at the beginning of the end. Beginning of the end of having kids at home, yeah. Yeah, like they're all just growing up and they don't need me. I've loved my time with this minivan and I've always had a silver one. Always. I've had a silver Sienna for the last 10 years, even though I've had two different cars. All right, Brandon. Ready to trade it in for a little something different? Well, only if it fits my Stanley, I'm bringing it home. <laughs> if, it if it doesn't fit the Stanley, deals off. back to the drawing board. <laughs> We have traveled here in the Toyota Sienna minivan. Yeah, the it, last and final drive. It was its final farewell parade. Yes. Everyone was just waving on the freeway. I know. We have pulled up to the Ford dealership. I doesn't <gasps> say Ford anywhere, so that's not really a great reveal. Does but mean you know what we're getting? 2023 Ford Expedition Max, Max. Platinum trim. It's gorgeous. It's silly. It's everything it's we wanted. It's awesome. I love it. It is 10 times cooler than anything we've ever had. There is so much tech packed into the thing. It's like 10 up there. Mindy is coming from not even being able to really play iTunes. The interface is kind of clunky. Not yeah. a knock on Toyota, just 
2018, they hadn't figured it out they yet. They just didn't have quite the tech. Didn't know what they were doing yet. Funny because you have a 2018. Ford. And your car is awesome. Consistently <laughs> ahead of the curve. They've been crushing the tech since my truck in 2018. It is entirely on a new level in 2023. It really is so awesome. You now have the full vertical <laughs> monitor, ginormous like computer you movie guys, screen. It is silly. And there are so many options, you guys. This has the self-driving capabilities. As long as you are awake and alert, it will self-drive for you. It has all of the bells and whistles of the heated and cooled seats, the heated steering wheel, lane assist to keep you in your lane, braking, the adaptive braking. Yes. A lot of that stuff has been pretty standard for a long time. We haven't got a new car in kind of a long time. So <laughs> it's, been a minute. it's been a little while. This one has got it all. We cannot wait to show you guys every it's nook so and cranny. Pretty. We love all the attention to detail, the stitching, the leather. It is so, so fun. And it is roomy. We got the Max. It's big. It is huge. Room for all the kids. Speaking of that, first thing we're going to do, go pick them up from school and they have no idea. Can't wait. We'll say. Ryler checked our location. Uh, he's and such a stinker. Sent me a screenshot of us at the dealership and he's like, so you're getting it? And I was like, no, we just came here to make sure we for sure don't want it and it's confirmed we don't. Daisy was like begging me this morning before, which is funny because I don't even think like she would care or notice. She goes, mommy, 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 can you can please, we please I just love it. it. I love it so much. And I asked her, and this was the sweetest thing ever. I asked her last night, I said, what do you love the most about it? I assume it's going to be the tech. It's going to be the fact that she She's can plug seven. in the USB right into her device. The Wi-Fi built in. Something like that. Something very kiddish. She goes, I just love that it's big enough for all of our family to go places together comfortably. I and I was like, did you rehearse that? That was really <laughs> she good. She knew how to pull the heart. <laughs> that, literally, I'm like, yeah, no, that's a done deal. We're getting it right now. We're here. We're back. We left last night. It hasn't been that long. We've got to go inside and do all the paperwork and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. There's a bit of a process to getting a new car. And We're trading in the Sienna. We're going to take over that. I actually own my Sienna outright. I actually was able to pay it off three years ago. And that was like the coolest thing ever. Liberating. Now we're back in car payments. But <laughs> it's all right because mine is about to be paid off in like two months. And so we still will just have one. So it'll just feel like it's business just as usual. It's really great to have the title. So I brought that in. It was so a proud moment for you. <laughs> Another proud moment. We're going to go in, sign the paperwork, make it official, and then go out and see our brand new car. We haven't seen it cleaned in the daytime. I have not seen the color in the daytime. I'm excited. It's official. We have signed the paperwork. Yeah. We've dotted the I's, crossed the T's, initialed the pages, dated, and double stamped. Wow. You can't triple stamp. Did you double stamp. that? No, I just <laughs> making it up here. You're about to see our brand new family car, okay. Bingham Ride 2023 edition, Ford Expedition. Max. They've cleaned it. You gotta go Max because it's go a big long boy. This is a side note. This is unrelated. But I kind of love that Max is actually, I believe, in a very similar font to the GoPro Max font. It says Max on the GoPro box. Okay. Same thing on the back of our car. How cool is that, Mindy? Oh my Dang. Gosh, you I didn't love even it. know you were getting that. Man. But Does it come with a GoPro? I brought one. <laughs> I'll put it in there. We're gonna go see it for the very first time. It's I all cleaned up. Wait. It's all ready to go. And you are driving Ooh. home in it. The minivan is staying. I know. You're leaving in this. I'm actually really sad about that. I think that there is a bit of nostalgia tied into the moment that you transition out of the minivan phase yes. and move into the full size. Just admitting that you're out of that little kid phase. I'm an old mom. You, you basically. If you Google me, I'm 72. It's fine. Your kids are growing up, is what that indicates, yes. and that's what's happening here. And it's a fun and exciting time, but it also is kind of a stake in life's journey where you go. This is the moment that the kids got big enough. We got an SUV. Said goodbye to the minivan for. Forever. That's yeah. today. It's happening right now. Ah! What do you think, Mindy? Which one are you going home in today, Mindy? Which one will you choose? Ah! <laughs> it's so pretty. Here it is, Mama's new ride. Can this is Mama's it? new ride. This I is kind gorgeous. I can't believe it. So we just got a little bit of a rundown how to operate, I guess, the base level of accessories and features yes. that it has. Once they started getting deep into the driving assist categories and there was an entire page I'm like, of options that what? dropped down into further options, Raga actually found out you can like change accent lighting throughout the entire yeah, car. Yeah, we did find that last night. There are a lot of things that we are going to still have to learn you about guys, this car. It's like powered to move the pedals closer or further away from my foot. That There's is so seriously many crazy. so many funny, silly things that I think Mama's going to find. Refreshing breath of fresh air coming up into the modern day of technology in this yes. car. A lot of fun, little tricked out bells and whistles. And we do have, speaking of tricked out, some fun ideas already out of the gates because we all know as you roll it off the lot, everything that comes out stock, not quite as fun as doing a little something, something to it. do something, something. You know, the truck, the F-150, as it was, was nice, but it wasn't until it became the Silverback that it was truly TIWB. So oh. not going to probably lift this one since Mom hates the lift 
lift on my truck. But <laughs> are definitely looking to get some new wheels, getting some Probably clear gonna protection put a, in the front. A some leveling kit on it to bring the front kit, up a little. Darker tint, maybe even going all blacked out. We don't know. We don't know. We're gonna do some fun stuff with it. So stay tuned. Right now, on this that. is plenty. We're about to go pick up the kids for the very first time. Leave this lot in the new expedition, leaving behind the minivan. They just I took know. it away. As we're standing here talking, he just drove it away. It's gone. Oh, that in fact, that the helped rip that band-aid <laughs> off that moment. You didn't have to watch it pull away and get emotional. Yeah. It is an emotional moment in the sense that we are now moving out of the childish minivan phase, I guess. It's it feels really like a younger sad. phase of life into the phase where you got big kids in the back. But they're so excited. It just makes it so they're fun. They're so excited. I cannot really, wait to pick them up. This is one of those things is for them. I mean, of course it's awesome for me, but this fits them 100%. better. hundred percent. This is for them. That's why we wanted them awesome. to come here, be here during the process. We didn't know it would happen as fast as it did. We thought we would pick a few of our top favorite options and then show them those top favorite options. This one stood out well, so far ahead of the rest and then they got to come see it in person. They fell in love so instantly. We're like, well, that's the one. This is it guys. This is the new Bingham family ride. There's only one thing left to do. Get in, get out of here, go get the kids. Yes! <laughs> Well, you guys, we're just sitting here in the carpool pickup line. No big deal. Just you know, brought the limo. I have enough room for everyone. Hanging out. <laughs> this is a new vibe. It's Mom, so... it's a very new, good look on you. When I got in, first of all, you just look real nice today. Love your outfit. I get in, and you've got this gigantic screen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my good sir. Holy cow. It is so new. It does not stay this new for long. <laughs> In fact, when I first got in, I called Stephanie and I was like, this is overwhelming. Everything that you have to look at, it's like a lot. Like stimulus And overload, I was using sure. the maps. Even in Brandon's car, he has that function, but it's like a small screen. Yeah. Just a lot to take in. It's really fun and exciting. Okay. I haven't even turned on the radio yet. So speaking of taking it in, take this moment real quick. Gotta get a little better light here. Why don't we just go ahead and roll back the sunroof there. You want to do just half? Want to do the full thing? Yeah, we'll no, half. that's good. We are actually in carpool right now, getting ready to surprise the kids with their brand new family car. Oh, I'm so excited. They are going to be so excited. We'll see how much reaction they get in front of all of their peers might take them getting in the car before we get their true reactions. But I think Hazy's gonna flip. She mm. wanted it so bad. Look quick guys, we got a minute. We got here early because we wanted to be up front and center. Wanted to tell you guys why we ended up going with the Ford Expedition. Yes. There are a lot of other cars on tap and some of the things that we love about this one, some stuff that maybe we like better about others. But when it came down to weighing pros and cons, this just hit on every single box for us. It really did. I am feeling better about it every second that goes by. I am just loving it. I love seeing you in it. Oh just my gosh, love I'm heaven. Everything about this car. So starting from most important things, we need to have enough room. The whole reason we did this, the upgrade to the SUV, is that we needed more space. Had to get really the biggest that anybody makes because we wanted to have enough room that we could fill it with people. Then also, if we have to pack seven suitcases in here, we need a trunk as well. So a yeah. lot of options are taken off the table because a lot of cars claim to seat seven, but that's if you don't use a trunk or they've got a big trunk, but they only seat five. There's not a ton of options on the table. After that, one of the other things that we really wanted to have are some of the features that we have come to love as we've rented these cars while on yes. vacation. One of them being like the 360 camera that you have as you pull in and out of parking spots. It gives you like a top-down view. Other things, we just want to updated tech. That was a big deal. It's nice to have the map and everything on the dash, so I'm not continuing to look down at my phone. So if people don't know, mom's been using her phone attached to the air vent with a little like sticky thing, a little magnet deal, that she can have That's the great. access to maps, her phone, apps, things like that. Now, all of that is on this ginormous screen right in front of her. Yeah. Her same setup. It's massive. Apple access to all of her apps. Map looks incredible Push there. Push the music button to see. Look at that, Sean Mendes. That one's for you, Maddie. It's like everything 
everything's just so much bigger, so crazy. That was a big deal. And then also, kids have a lot of their fun tech and devices. And so, as cars have been updated, they've now got USB outlets at every single seat in this car, including yes. USB C and USB up in the middle row. All of the tech that you could possibly need in this has the dopest tech package that comes with this giant touch screen. That dash is not always digital. Package just under this, that it was just, just had, still like, a regular the dash. Things. That dash is fully digital over there as well, which is just kind of fun. So, this is called calming. Whenever you have just a picture of the car, it makes you calm. It is pretty calming. One of the things that we loved in this car versus the Denali, which is the other one we were considering, all of the functions for the seat, heated steering wheel, AC, AC stuff, seats, yep. all of that is here in the screen instead of having a bunch of knobs everywhere. And actually, these two front captain chairs, they have seat heaters as well. For kids. the kids, they're so spoiled. <laughs> but I also really did love, there was a different vibe when you got in. There's knobs here because that's just been the way it's been for forever versus having it all be digital and touch. That definitely feels more current, more updated. Yeah. And so that, I think, also helps future-proof it a little bit where... Yeah. This tech is not going to be outdated in the next version. So that's pretty nice for us knowing that we're gonna be able to have this for a long time. Still feel like more on the cutting edge versus like the day you got your minivan. It felt like it was a little bit outdated. 100%. Uh, the other thing that we really love about this particular trim level, this is the platinum trim level. So it comes with this really fun leather stitching. There's a lot of accents and details throughout. I love the different textures in these grays in here. This the also has the has cool it. stitching even up here in the dash. And the limited version that we looked at that we also liked, it was similar to this except stitching was red. It was red and it also, yeah. I noticed, did not have as cool many too. variations in like the textures and stuff. So see how this has one set of textures, I don't, for lack of a better word, I don't know what that is. Here, a stripe down the middle and then some stripes around here. This is a totally different type of leather here. Like feel to it. Fun platinum in the seat there. So a lot of that is just some extra detailing in Super the awesome. limited to the platinum and you didn't love the red stitching. You felt like it was kind of maybe dudeish or racing. Which is because I'm a red person. Red's like one of my very favorite colors. But it's different in a car. But it was a color. This I feel like is more neutral and I it's like that. It's an accent. I love it. Some of those extra accents this one has that we really like is just this little detailing in the sewing here along these edges, a lot of that throughout the entire car, all the way through to the back. Yeah. So we talked about the space already, the size, the interior here, as far as like leg room for human beings, pretty superior. Massive. Probably can fit there comfortably with very long legs. The guy who sold us the car sat in the back. In the like back he had on plenty the of room. side, he had plenty Full of room. Full size adult. There was a lot of room for the kids to bring friends in here, grow older and get bigger and taller, and all still fit. That was a big deal. That is kind of the nuts and bolts just of our favorite features that we know so far. We're really just getting into it right now. You go up and you unlock the door to get in. Running boards. Floorboards, yeah, they come down. They yeah, running boards, whatever. Fold down automatically. Those and they come back up. That was really cool. Some other cool accents on the outside as well. This color is a very unique color. You don't see this in a lot of places. It's called gray matter. Gray matter, something like that. Anyways, a pretty rad color. I said this in yesterday's video. Other than that, really just a matter of who would know our car when we sat in it. And I cannot shake the vibe when we sat in it after sitting in yeah. car after car after car. And it all just kind of felt like different versions of the same thing. We sat in this and I was like, this is different. This well, is completely new. It was new. the first car that we were like actually excited about. About. And yeah. that was really fun because like, yeah, okay, cool. The other ones we were excited to upgrade into a bigger SUV, but none of the cars themselves got us very excited. Something about when we got in this one was the first time we were, we were just like, like giddy. giddy. It was, and yeah. we just couldn't shake it. So that's how we ended up with it today, you guys, just a few hours it was later. like a little bit of a miracle because there's just no inventory anywhere. So felt very grateful that- The whole story is nutty. It's crazy. It's insane. That's why we ended up going with the Ford Expedition, you guys. Kids are coming out right now. They're about 90 seconds so from excited. coming out and getting in the car. watching for them. For the very first time, so capture that reaction. It was a surprise them. Now they've seen the car because they came last night, checked it out last night. It won't totally surprise them. Probably won't walk right past us. In fact, if I were to bet, I bet they are actually looking for this car, hoping to see it out here in the parking yeah. lot today. What do you think of our new whip? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> so cool. Whoa. I can't wait for you to put music in here, bro. <laughs> I haven't even turned on the radio. Oh, nice. Actually. Do you like CarPlay? Yeah. So sick. That The it's iPad's so huge. Gigantuous. It's bigger than my TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly so big, dude. The pads. <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> what do you think? This is insane. I'm in the Whoa. back. Do you love now your new car? Whoa. Welcome to your new car. What? This is what do you think? Dude, this is insane. <laughs> this is insane. Holy crap. This is so cool. <laughs> dude, it's so roomy. Guys, no awesome. minivan. What do you think about that? You okay with that? Oh, I love yeah. this so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How is it back there? Is it spacey? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. We can make one Ryler's and one Hazy, so one has a little bit more room. Say this one's mine. I like the right side. There's Hazy. I have so much There's a Hazel. Room. Hazy, what do you think, sweetie? <laughs> Do you love it? I'm just gonna push the button to close the door, but I have no Oh, you can't over do that. that. Oh. You guys gotta shut your own doors now. Guys, this is this awesome. You like your new car? Yeah. This is so cool. Welcome to your new whip, everybody. So this is so cool. 
first time home, <laughs> he's just waving to everybody she sees. <laughs> no, it's my friend! Rexy, what do you think, buddy? I love it. You love it? It's yep. awesome. Crew Absolutely you? love it. You love it? A million this is right, so guy, cool. I know you love it, dude. This is you so guys, cool. this is so fun. The new family car. I don't know, it just feels right. It feels like this it is the right face. Right. It feels this. good. Yeah. So much space back there. You could easily fit so another person in the middle. I love those much. giant, chunky armrests on your guys' oh, chair. They are so comfortable. Look at how huge those they are. They are so comfortable. Those are so cool. We just barely got home from picking up Hazy. She had a dance party. The yeah. boys stayed after school. We had so many things going on this afternoon. Kids have now had a little ride in the car. We went to the gas station. We did a couple of things. I just have to ask you, what is your favorite part? I've been asking you individually. What is your favorite part of the car so far? Just from the few short little drives you've had. Wait, you have two? Yeah. Oh my Three. gosh, okay, tell me. So, one is that we can put our whole family. And that we have opp most. opportunity that we can have our family in there. And my second one is they can draw and play games on the screen. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, we'll go to Brexy next. Uh, Brexy, what's mine your favorite part? Is how much room there is. So spacious. It is pretty spacious in the yeah, back. Like your yeah, legs that. aren't touching the person in yeah. front it's of like you. Yeah, there's lots point. of room, and especially for Rye Guy, who is yeah. six one, he has plenty of space of in front of his knees. He's like yeah. that much space. Yep. All right, Mike Kruby, what's your favorite? Um, mine is probably the screen. The screen. It's, it's so big and cool. right? Yeah, it's so big. It's so crazy. It has a lot of tech. When I was driving today, I was like a little overwhelmed. This is a lot to look at. Yeah. Rye Guy, tell me, what's yours? So I think mine. I love the screen too. I love how spacious it is, but I also love. Wi-Fi feature. Oh so I can just yes, have my yes. And oh, okay. What? I love the audio and like speaker system in there. I love my music. Okay, so me. earlier today we hadn't had the chance to really try out the music. I actually didn't turn the music on once. The whole day I drove it until Ryder got in the car. We were bumping some music, and I was like, Holy crap! This it has is, really great sound. Crazy, yeah. It was it's awesome. Good. Also, we did connect the Wi-Fi this afternoon. It's cool. We've got the whole package. Kids are gonna have some fun doing that. Super awesome day. We're gonna close it out here, you guys. Loving, loving, loving this brand new car. I cannot believe it. Can't believe it. Hazy got in it this afternoon. She goes. Mom, it smells like a brand new car still. Yes, it does. It's gonna stay that way for quite some time. But you guys, we love you. Thank you so much for all your help and advice and tips and tricks, looking for cars and all the things that you suggested. We truly appreciate it. Come back tomorrow because yeah, we're gonna be making space for this in there. Having a great summer day because it's gonna be really awesome. warm. But we love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye, everyone. Which one are you going home in today, Mindy? Which one will you choose? Ah! <laughs> so pretty.